Hey my sweet crafty friends, welcome back to my channel, or if you are new, welcome. We're glad to have you here in the family. So today I am going to show you how I made this cute little farmer's market stand with Dollar Tree products. So if you want to see how I made this, then just keep on watching. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take these four little pallets um, that I got at the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to pull the stickers off of them. Then I'm going to take my fourth one and I'm going to measure it with my ruler to find the center so I can cut this in half because these are going to be the sides of our little stand. So once I find the center I'm going to mark it and then I am going to cut it with my miter box and hand saw. Now I'm just gonna sand the edges um, and get rid of any roughness or any splinters. So now I'm just gonna take my Gorilla Wood Glue and I'm just going to basically um, paint the glue on with a little thin paintbrush. And then I'm gonna place my pieces where I need them to go. So now that I've got everything placed and that glue is dry, pretty dry, I am just going to take this little dowel that I got in a package at the Dollar Tree as well, and I'm just going to figure out how long I want, want them to be. And then I'm going to take them and cut them down with my miter box and hand saw as well. Now the thing that I didn't take into consideration when I was cutting all four of these dowels is that I wanted my two back ones to be taller or longer so that my little roof would sit at a slant. So naturally I had to go back and recut two more and place those um, in the back. Now that I've got everything pretty much assembled, I am just going to take that last palette and I am just gonna um, use some hot glue on the top of that just so I can um, attach it to the top of my dowels. So now I'm just gonna take my chalked paint by Rust-Oleum and I am just gonna give this a couple of coats and um, so while we're sitting here painting or you're watching me paint if you haven't already please go ahead and give me a big thumbs up on this video and hit that subscribe button it really means the world to me and i would love to have you in our little diy family so i'm just going to continue to give this um a paint job I guess you could say I would recommend that if you're gonna paint this you do it before you put it together because it was kind of hard getting in there under the roof and all that to get inside and paint it so yeah it was giving me a little struggle here so now I'm just gonna take my sanding sponge from the Dollar Tree and I'm just gonna rough up these edges um, and just kind of bring some of that natural wood back on the edges just to give it some definition and some uh, texture. So when I first started um, working on this project, I did use some little um, craft sticks, the large craft sticks, to make my bottom, but it just wasn't working out the way I wanted it to. So um, I decided to use the scrap pieces that I had cut off of my pallets because you know they're, they're four slats high 
um, but it was just too high for my little box so I wound up cutting one off so I only have three slats on each one so I just basically took those extra pieces that I cut off and I added them on to the front and back of uh, my little box and I really think that it gave it a lot more character and just um, finished the whole thing off just perfectly so then I just took my ruler and just made sure my edges were even and everything So now I'm just going to take this little tag that I had in my stash and I went ahead and gave it a couple of coats of um, some chalk paint that I got from the Dollar Tree as well because it was kind of scratched up and everything and I just wanted it to have a fresh look. And then I took um, these little, um, I had cut out a decal on my silhouette and I didn't use that part of it. So I just peeled the letters out and I'm going to use... Um, the backing or whatever you want to call it um, as a stencil and then I'm just going to use my white chalk paint and just stencil that on. So now here comes the fun part. So once I got everything painted on and it dried and everything, I uh, took this uh, piece of jute uh, that I had in my stash as well and I was just basically trying to figure out how I was going to put this tag on here. It had the two little holes in it as you see so I just threaded that through and tied a knot on the front and because I knew I wanted that those little knots on the front but I was just like basically just gonna tie this onto the um, little stand but it just wasn't working so what I decided to do was just thread it through on the through the other hole and just tie another knot in the front and then I just hot glued the tag onto the little stand. So I didn't mention that I decided to go with Farm Fresh on, the, on my little tag and the reason why I did that is because I wanted this to be able to transition from season to season. So basically with the Farm Fresh you know you can just change it from season to season and just put whatever you like in the box so now I'm just going to take this reindeer moss I think it is I'm not really sure but I had it in my stash so I thought I would use it um, I should have got a bail some little bales of hay but I didn't so this is what we're using and I'm just kind of fluffing it out and everything and then I'm just going to add in my little pumpkins and y'all please overlook my Whataburger Whataburger cup in the background I totally forgot it was there when I was filming but you know a girl gets thirsty when she's crafting and here we are I am absolutely in love with how this turned out my husband said that is the cutest little thing he's ever seen and my daughter loved it as well and I am just so excited to be able to decorate this for every single season I have been wanting one of these little farmer's market little stands for a long time and I finally just decided to go ahead and make one. I hope y'all love it as much as I do and I really hope y'all recreate this because it was super easy, super cheap, and you can make it your own. So again, I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. So hit the subscribe button because I really would love to add y'all to my little DIY family. So I hope everyone is having a great weekend. And thank you again for watching. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye now.